today. The chance to make a splash and not just secure that yearned for first victory, but local bragging rights too. Does really well there to just grab an extra yard or two on the floor as a furiously squirming Faye Waboso. Well, it classed the upright several times by the sounds of it, but over it goes. Well, there's a head to head worth the ticket price alone. Ibitoye up against Faye Waboso, and the ball just about recycled by the barnstorming Bristolian winger. Marmion through the hands of Lua Tua out onto the wing and there's something on here and here's that Bristol there's going to be an almighty chase on from Hodge but it won't be enough and this is absolute quality from Bristol no space pace on the ball pace off the ball 2v1s time and time Try again good, Thank you. let the ball do the hard work Kieran Marmion under the stick. Look at this. Run straight. Come back in off your off your angles. Joe Batley doing brilliant just to suck the defence in. Really good angle to see. Stay behind the ball, Kieran. Get behind the ball. Step back half a step. You're right front of the ball. Thank you. But it looks like Rich Lane might have joined them. Skinner hurtles that one across the face of the defence. Oh, there's but over crashes. One of Baxter's rookie wrecking balls in Paul Brown Bampo. Side never on. Advantage going the way of Bears. It's a little pass off the chest of Lua Tua. Straightening is Jansa van Rensburg and splashing down in the corner is Joe Batley. Here is Street as the phases mount and the pressure builds, but still Chiefs not making it into the 22. They are being held at arm's length by a battalion of bears. They were both so hungry for work, spots a gap, only needs a little chink of light to hurtle away. Who does something slightly more straightforward, but gets the job done just as well. Delay on that pass up and on to no, Vincent. Moved out, you moved out. So strong, so powerful, but so quick too. Speaking of speed, down the touchline, Brown Bampo not held, gets away. He's only gone and got himself a brace. Intercept from Faye Waboso. And if you want to stop Manny Faye Waboso, you're going to have to catch him first. The dive at the end is the exclamation point. He was bouncing and ricocheting through the midfield and look at the line speed there from Vincent but the ball's away and with Old Grey and he scored a rolling mall try last week he's produced something that is pure fireworks this time around what overthrown line out Harding who's rustling for it now and just helping out at the breakdown talking in the week about how they've taken the handbrake off they've given themselves permission to lose so long as they do it the Bears way and this is the Bears way heads up rugby from McGinty it lands right in the arms of Gabe Ibitoye we're gonna head up now, to the TMO and check that everything is all right with that one Michael Checker had a good look at him while he was still a teenager ahead of the last World Cup. So Not prodigious the is the back. Speaking of talent, Jansa van Rensburg finding Ibatoye, two of the most dangerous athletes in the Premiership in glorious, glossy, galloping tandem. Well scragged by Woodburn. So at home in that outside centre defensive berth. And now Randall always alert to opportunity. And Ibatoye will have his hat trick in what has been the most topsy turvy and entrancing of affairs. I'll tell you what, Harry Randall has made a hell of a difference. Look at the line he takes here. Okay, he breaks in field, but look, he's come back towards the five metre line. That leaves the space on the outside for Ibatoye. 
If he runs straight, look, he comes off his left shoulder. It just means that it just creates another metre for Ibatoye. And, no and then look, Josh Hodge is quick, but he made nothing on Ibatoye. And the drama right up to Devonian skies before Baying stands at Sandy Park, who now watch on appalled because Bears have done it. Will Capon, come on, make a contribution. He was the one that made the tackle that led to the turnover. Bristol from nowhere have come down to that Sandy Park and properly dusted up Exeter. Well, the West Country right now is bare country. One involvement, one 